Hello everyone, welcome to another video of AS code. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this type of fake scroll bar spy bar like this. You can see on my computer screen when you hover on it and click on this button and it's scrolling this body section element here and when you hover on this body section and this all item is affecting on this nav bar button and this hover effect is affecting on the nav bar button. So you can see like this. So this type of this fake is called spy bar and how to create it. So let's get start this video. So here you can see I have added this basic HTML file and here I have added title and style file CSS. So and this after this body section here I will open a nav class so sorry nav section here. So inside this I will add some link here this home contact and here is I'm going to add about and this another one is services and here I'm going to add some and the link is that I'm going to using a document okay let's type this document here and now copy this section name is nav here and here we will set this position is fixed so that we want to make it this position when is called this body section this item will be fixed on the top left and zero and right and zero and bottom background is with this hundred percent and background is we're going to add a linear gradient color that is 45 degree angle for this color and here i will set this text align center so let's say type this text align center here because this all of text will be go to center this background you can see here you can see a background and this text is inside of the center here so now let's copy this nav again here and after this we have this anchor tag so let's copy this anchor tag here and now we'll type this display is in line block so that this all button will be in one line and padding will set a padding is 10 20 pixel and set this font size to rem and here we'll set a font to it that is i'm going to set 6 500 it will be set is already here and there is a let letter spacing here will be set one pixel and text transform will be uppercase and this color is white and margin is 0 10 pixel so let's see you can see like this so we have a line in this text so we'll try to remove this text line underline that is text decoration none so this line will be removed here you can see so now this all our navbar is completed here so after this nav we will write this big busy class that will be background this body class and here we will type this for this name of this section we are defining the name as in this body here this home contact us as our relation to our navbar links and this i will set this type and now copy this busy class here so here we will type this basic class and now we will set for this position relative and then after setting this we will set here this width and that is 100 percent and here we will set display flex so that's all item goes to be center so here i'm get typing this center element item justify content and align item all is center here and now we'll set this font size for this here i'm setting this 6 frame and here i will set this font to it is plot so this text will be blot and the letter spacing will be 2 pixel and here this is the color is i'm going to add a color is white and there's i'm going to add a background is linear gradient color so let's type this 45 degree angle here blue and green so now let's see how it's affecting here we can see like this so now we will need to set here this mean height so let's set this mean height is 100 vis so now we'll see this all element as a 100 vis width for this item so here i will add a text transform is uppercase so this all text will be in capital form and now we'll set this busy nta styled and even so it will be after one element to after one element so it will be we are applying a color for this linear gradient here is this 45 degree radiant like a glide you can see here after one item to after one item this color is changing here the background color is changing and now we'll set this for this nav is not showing so we are setting this nav is set index 2 so that the nav is up to this the back layer to up this front layer so you can see now this all is done everything almost so now we'll go for this nav and copy this nav here and go to this section so here we will copy this nav anchor tag a and we will add a hover effect so let's add this hover effect this background will change this background here this white background and this color will be 00 when you hover on it so let's go to this item here and it will set a transition so that's it will be a smooth effect here so you can see like this or not navigation is working like this and now let's go to this for section this here we will add a id for this all of elements so that we can connect it this all body element to our navbar link so here i'm adding this connected as a id here so as this contains this as name is the link is will be a id here 
this this all id will be add a link here so here i'm adding this add a home contact about services and document so we'll copy this all id and want this snapper and the hashtag we will type this all link here so let's type this all of link about and there is services and there another one is document so all of our link is almost connected and this link when you click on it but it's going so fast so now we'll add a on this total scroll behavior is smooth so now you can see this it's going in some smooth transition here this one you click on the napper and it's going some delay a little bit off so now we can go here this body here now copy this body here and we're going to add some more effect for this one over one this body element it will tag this snapper element for this hover effect so let's type this busy here first of all and then we have to copy this hashtag id that is link and we will copy enter here and this hover and here i'm going to make it the equal Lism that is nav anchor tag and third bracket as it would be is crf and here will be define this the id link here so you can see just like this but when we hover on it so it is not working here okay let's see why it's not working let's copy and paste it again here and type this link also again here and let's check it again but when you hover on it it's not working okay let's check this again and again okay here is this link is already activated here but i got this this when you want to hover effect on this body section so we need to be that is into the font size font system and this that need to be top so you can see that when you copy and paste it in the top this body element so now we can see this all what is working so now we'll copy and paste this all element and now we'll set this all of this link here so let's connect it this all link that is contact link here the secondary link and this here will also this acrp this hyperlink also will be the contact and there is second third one is about link let's connect this services link that is fourth one and there is this all link is connected that five last is one is document so let's connect this all link is connected here so now we can see here like this so we think we have some any mistake here okay there is one comma sorry move that comma and now you can see this when you hover on this body element this one hover effect is working on this snapper you can see like this there when you can see here this one now top and blow top and blow you can see this all hover effect is one here so that is successfully completed so hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this please like on this video and share it with your friends and please subscribe and like our videos thank you so much for watching and goodbye